They won a tough one to clinch that top seed over last weekend, beating Pitt 78-76. And we are underway. Wake Forest winning. Well, I'll tell you, NC State looked amazing. We've talked about their guards all year. Clinton on top and picking up where he left off. Yeah, let me tell you who's looked amazing. Not only Clinton, but Cam Hill. Williamson denied. Miami getting up there on the iron. Here's Wong. He scoots in for two. A smart play by Wong, not settling for the jump shot. Isaiah Wong not settling, getting closer to the rim and getting a bucket. When you play the same team again, did you have a different mental approach when you went against them? Just a different level of control and decision making and being a little more intentional, especially to start the game. Only 33% from the three point line. Wake Forest hits 37% as a team. Pack. Can't hit it. Rebound tipped up and in. Because of Jordan Miller. He's the guy that does all the little things and leaves them on and off the court. As you say, left-handed, so he's got that extra weapon. So a tough shot by Isaiah Wong as he drops it in. Wong to push the tempo. Miami running. Wilson got airborne, didn't know what to do with it. Here's Hildreth. He finds the lane, and he will slam it down. For Syracuse after 47 years and an amazing job. Hildreth. Tough shot. He makes those. Wake trying to tie or take the lead behind Appleby. Over the shoulder and is stuck by March. What a beautiful feat. Trying to make a special delivery. That would be an ACC tournament win. So the Demon Deacons get a couple reps in this building normally each and every year. Miami collapsing on D. Pack. Can't convert. Tip won't go. That one is. And again, it's Miller. It's, it's that Miller. guy. He's the guy that steps up and makes big plays for. You want more accountability in the actual program. Here's Appleby short. Marsh with a big rebound. And up and in. Well, he never misses. He's for the season. He's 81 for 92. Here's Miller on the spin. Another spin. And another one. Three times. And this time, you call his number. Now Miller has scored eight of the last ten Miami points, so he's taking it on his back. Frankly, he's done that all year. Hildreth really working hard in there, makes it nothing. But again, they all look alike. You can tell the difference in age by size, but look exactly alike. I had to ask, which one is actually Jordan early? Beverly lets fly and knocks down a three. All season long, not only offensively, but defensively as well. So Miami beginning to get hot. Appleby jumping in and banking it in. The explosion I saw yesterday from the North Carolina State Wolfpack. <laughs> Maybe, right? Might be NC State. Yeah, coming into the tournament, no one's playing better. Appleby. And he broke out of it in major fashion. Man, did he. Long, long, popular no. Second effort, Omir. Boy, is he strong. But Miami right now, Omer. their best offense is just throwing up on the glass. Hildreth. Going to make a move, caught underneath, got it up high for Appleby, and he sticks it. Appleby has to have the highest usage rate of any player in the ACC, and just squaring up Nigel Pack, one of the very few guards. And, and I'm an ACC guy, and I know how big the North Carolina Duke rivalry is. Not as big as the Georgetown. Syracuse rivalry was in the 80s and 90s. So again, when you look at that, I mean, the, I grew up making sure I'm tuned in to Jim Beheim every time they were on TV. Omer going all the way for the stop. Nobody got in the way of the 6'7 sophomore. They said we have to make them earn their points. Yeah, that's why Steve Forbes was screaming into his hands. You know, up and in for two more. After seeing North Chad O'Meara just play bully ball with Andrew Carr on the block right there. And there's nothing Carr can do about that. That's not his fault that Norman or North Chad O'Meara is the strongest guy in the ACC. Carr with a spin and two. You've got to go at him on the other end because you're going to take this punishment defensively. You've got to make sure you make O'Meara play some defense. Hurricanes catch and fire, and they stay hot. It's Miller again. Not bad for a baseball player, huh? Right. <laughs> that will be down the lane. Scoops in two. Absolutely. <laughs> Astronomical. Great block there by Marsh. As he denied at the 10. On the run to Williamson. Got it. He hits the triple. Look at him with a tight end. He may want to cover all the major sports. Maybe another major league sport. 
Alex Cora, Miami Hurricane, a big fan of these Canes, he watches them all the time, keeping an eye, the Red Sox manager. This is the day. This is the when day. the heavy hitters get into town and you've got teams who have earned their way to match up against them in the quarterfinal. Poplar mid-range, Shan knocks it down. One more shot away. Here's Miller, who's been a hot hand for the Canes. Scudall, nice block by Carr. Chance for a heave by Hildreth. And knocked it down! He hit it! Looking for their 25th win of the season. Poplar with a fall away shot and connects. That's a tough bucket right there. Luka Poplar has become the other guy. He's becoming much more of an offensive threat. Luka's legal name is Nicene, but he prefers the nickname that his grandma gave him. Wake is able to get in close. Wake on the other hand, 19 wins after their thrilling victory over Syracuse yesterday. And Wrigley underneath the man who nailed down that win, Williams. Number of times in this game, doing a great job going off the bounce, finishing at the rim. Miller to the paint strong on the dish and one as well on the finish by O'Meara. And he's a bigger body to have to defend Norchad O'Meara so he can help Wake Forest in this matchup. Miami looking to build on their lead and they can do it that way. Pack absolutely drained it. Looking at them, he had kind of an amused look on his face. Here's Miller. Big rebound again by O'Meara, and they finish it with some nifty passing as well. Who leads the ACC in minutes, and of course is the most important guy to his team in this league. So Steve Forbes recognizing how important that call was. Appleby lifts and connects as he will bury a three. Knocking down the three-pointer. No rule, by the way, that says Bill Covington, very classy official, that he had to go to Jim Laranagan and say, this is what he was asking about. He did it out of decency there and courtesy. They want to be the Cinderella here. Wong on the dribble, pulls up and pops. Yes, sir. He's so good in the mid-range. And that's one of the things about Isaiah Wong. You can put the basketball in Isaiah Wong's hands, and, you know, what we like to say on the playground, he can go get one. Williamson slams on the brakes, and down it goes. What a nice variety of shots. But you've got to make the shot. And you've got to make the that. shot. I mean, again, the, the single best performance I've ever seen over a three-day span. He earned it. He deserved it. Ooh. Joseph, nothing but net. Isaiah Wong, ACC Player of the Year. Now, this is a mismatch right here. Tough for Carr to be able to stay in front of this guy. Here's the three. Oh, yes. yes. And now they look really comfortable. That is not good news for the Demon Deacons. And the top of the slam for Marsh. Hildreth with the feed. Are you playing your best basketball this season? He said, absolutely. And the offense is starting to catch up with the defense. They have been the best defensive team in the ACC this year. Nigel Pack gets inside. Appleby has typically been that man all season long, but he can't hit. Rebound popped around into the backcourt for Hildreth. Hildreth down the lane. And it'll roll in as he took the foul. Back up for Miller. Seven to shoot. Easy oh, bucket. Easy Love bucket. That. Yeah. That's the day he had against Jim Beheim's Orange yesterday. Pat negotiating his way through all the way to the cup. Miami outscoring Wake Forest 27 to 14 in the second half. And this is really kind of what we assumed would happen. The Tyler after he's able to step back and knock down the three. Miller to the lane, swatted away by Clintman. It's out of Arlington. Appleby swings it. Williamson in the corner, too strong. Carr will control and right back up for two. Corey, when we're talking shot fake, most important key to a shot fake hands, eyes, feet. Drake. Jamarius Burton in there with the headphones on. He's locked in. Poplar launches. Yes. He rattles one in. That's a two-pointer. And Miami not looking like they are ready to give up this lead. Inside, it's Miller. Isaiah Wong is a scorer, but he also leads Miami in assists. So he's willing to give the basketball up. Williamson left open and switches in a three. We needed that one. Long one, Clinton. Yes! Line driver for three. They're still hanging around. 
Jim Laranega gets Norchad O'Meara back on the floor, recognizing his importance. He gets a touch. Going up strong, rejected by Clintman. Important free throw miss on that last possession. Again, you need every point that you can get on this game simply because it's going to be difficult to stop Miami on this. 67-58. Not many foul shots for Miami. Appleby turns a long one. Yes! A three-pointer. And all of a sudden, when we question Wake Forest legs, they've got some juice back in this building. Back with the foot pass and the dunk by O'Meara. Back to Appleby. 19 a game for him. Slicing rejected by O'Meara. He said, no, sir. Williamson wants to push. A whirling dervish in the lane. That may have hit the backboard first. D. Forbes wants a goal to it. Hildred switches it in. Good thing he didn't get the goal to it. Makes that wingspan even more valuable. Miller back for Wong. Gets it across midcourt. He's going to pull up and hit the shot. Smart play by Isaiah Wong. A great effort to try and steal it by Joseph, but it's back over to Appleby. Here's Hildred. Appleby unable to get off one shot, trying that one. Hits it! A three-pointer. Yeah, a lot of iron, but he drops it. At the U, trying to play their way to semifinals. 14 and 10 for him. He gets one of two. Too strong. Little cradling the rebound, and they are going to foul him. Here's Williamson, the star yesterday. Can't get a shot away. Hildreth off the fake. A three. Hits it with 3.3 3 to go. 2.7 seconds to go. And it's in and out. His car. Up and Williamson the heave. And that's the ball game. Miami does hang on. They're into the semifinals.